What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how we can quickly swap out objects in SketchUp using the object origins. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so these are some solar panel models that I've downloaded from the 3D warehouse. Um, so uh, the first one is kind of a frame from MT Solar. And then if you search for solar panels, the other two are in the most popular models in here. So it's the BP Solar by 365LYF. And there's also one in here from Sustainable Energy Partners. And so what I wanna do is I kinda of wanna put these together and I kinda of wanna swap out what's shown on this model right here. Now, the easiest way to do this, and by the way, I've come in here and I've kinda of like rescaled this in order to make it fit, um, just kinda of using the scale tool. I don't wanna to focus too much on that right now. But the problem with taking this particular panel model right now and placing it is there's a lot of like manual adjustment you would have to do, right? So if I take this, I could definitely bring this in here, align kind of the corners and then do a rotation using the rotate tool, right? So I could definitely do that and make everything align, but that's a bunch of manual work that I don't necessarily want to do. Plus, you know, with these little, uh, these little pieces on the end, it's not exactly aligned the way that I want it to be. So I wanted to take a look at another way that we can do this. And so what we want to do is I've already scaled this so that it's the same size as these panels up here, right? So it's sized properly. But what I want to do is I want to set this up where I can easily swap out panels without having to worry about doing that manual alignment. And so the way that we can do that is what I want to do is I want to take a look at these panels right here. And they're already modeled in place, right? So they're in the location that they're supposed to be inside of this model. Now, they're not necessarily touching everything in here, but we're not going to worry about that. We're just assuming this is modeled in the right place. But what I want to do is I want to swap this out for this object. And so there's a way to do that inside of the components function over here on the right hand side. And so remember that this component has a definition of solar panel one. Well, we can click on the little drop down in your components and find the components in your model, right? So if I scroll down and I look for solar panel number one and I right click on it, I can select the instances of this panel, or I can drop a new one in here. And so one of the cool things about this that I think a lot of people don't know about is when you select instances of components inside of your component sampler, you can right click on an object and click on replace selected. And so what that does is that replaces every copy of this solar panel with the copy that I told this to place, right? So it just kind of swapped them out. Now, the problem with that is that our location is not the same. And the reason for that is because the object origins are in different locations. So if I double click in here, right? Notice how you see this little axis. This axis represents the object origin of this component right here. So what I wanna do is I wanna set this up so that my other panel has an origin in the same location with the same orientation, right? So if I was to come down in here and double click on this, notice how my object origin is like way off into space. Well, what this does is this uses the origin location as the swap point in the 3D space. So what we can do, and we're gonna go back and look at this again, is we can set up this panel so that the origin is on this corner right here. And so notice how we want the red along this direction and the blue facing up. Well, I can just double click in here and I can click on the axis tool, either in my large tool set or you can go to tools axes as well. And what I wanna do is I wanna align this so the red is facing in this direction and the blue is facing up. And so once I do that and I try to click out of this object, it's gonna ask if I wanna update the component axes to match my modified sketch axes. And the answer is yes. Well now, this object has an axis right here on this corner, the exact same as these panels up here. Well, what that means is that means that I can come in here and I can select these and I can either do it individually or I can just right click and do a select instances. Well, when I do that, I can right click in here and click on the option to replace selected. Well, notice how when I do that, that's going to swap out all of those and the placement is now in the proper location. Now, note that I could also select some of these and then right click and do a replace selected. And if I do that, it's only gonna place these right here, but it's always going to work because they all have their model origins in the same location. 
So that's gonna work fine. One other thing I wanna note about this is this other panel that we have in here, I wanna scale it so that it matches this size right here. Well, the problem is, I don't know if you've ever had this happen before, the bounding box on this model is all kind of like wonky, right? It's facing the wrong direction. Well, the problem is if I try to come in here and scale this, notice how it's gonna scale it on the wrong axis or wrong direction. But what I wanna do is I wanna do the same thing I did before where I adjust these axes so that they align over here. Well, when I do that, and I'm gonna go ahead and click out of here and say yes, notice how that bounding box reorients in here, and now I can align this or scale it properly. So now if I click on this, notice how the scale box is in the right direction, right? Now, one thing to note about this is I wanna go ahead and I wanna place this on this face right here, but I actually wanna double click into this component and scale everything that's inside of it. I don't wanna scale outside of the component because um, that's not actually going to change the component itself that's inside of the bounding box. So I just wanna take this whole thing, select it, and I'm just gonna scale it. And you can toggle X-ray mode on if it helps you here. I'm just gonna scale it so that it aligns with this surface right here, All right? So now, I click off of this, we'll toggle X-ray mode back off. Notice how this is the same size as this panel right here. Well, that means that I can do the same thing only with this panel. So if I come in here and I select these like this, right click on this in my component browser and click on replace selected, that's going to try to place these in here. Now, something is wrong with my model axes, so we're gonna go back in and fix that real quick. So I'm just gonna double click back in here, and for whatever reason, my component axes are kinda off, so I'm just gonna reset them in here, say yes, but now this is going to work properly. So if I right click, replace selected, I can use that in order to replace those really quickly. And you can also do this with things that aren't in your model, right? So that solar panel number one still lives in my in model section over here, even though there's not an instance of it in my model. So I could come in here, select a couple of these and replace those with that solar panel. And you can see how that swap is really easy to do. So the object axes in SketchUp are actually really powerful for things like swapping objects out. If you wanna learn more about how to use SketchUp, make sure you check out my course at the sketchupessentials.com slash course. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.